Over the years I got to surf it. Um, these days I live there and it's nowhere near as good. Um, you know, we get swell in there and I look at it and I think, wow, you know, uh, I just picture what it would be like if the bank was back to the way it was um, and there wasn't so much sand there. But hey, you know, uh, it, that's happened, it's changed, um, and all we can do is try to get it back. But, you know, look, uh, I think that if we can get the, the break back to almost as good um, and if it, as good as it was, um, it's a sight to be seen. There's no other way to like it in the world. Um, the surf has changed the Kira over the years for a number of different um, uh, reasons. Um, mainly uh, due to sand pumping um, has really dramatically changed the um, style of wave at Kira. But erosion and the natural forces have always changed uh, Kira. But not to the extent that sand pumping has. Um, we used to have one big long perfect wave from the groin uh, right through and uh, it was probably uh, the most perfect wave. Um, in Australia, on the coast, and arguably the world, um, a lot of people would always talk about barrels and say, uh, uh, you know, I have these great barrels, and go, was it as good as Kira? You know, did it break like Kira? They use Kira as a, as a benchmark on what that wave was. But, um, you know, over the years, man has uh, manipulated uh, the beach uh, for various reasons, and it has changed the wave, and uh, it's nowhere near as good as it used to be. Sand pumping at Duran Bar has had good and bad effects on the beaches from Snapper Rocks, uh, Duran Bar and right through north all the way up to um, Corumbin. Um, what's basically happened, they want the sand pump to keep the Tweed Bar free of sand, uh, safe package, uh, passage for fishing boats and uh, pleasure craft, uh, but also to replenish the, the beaches um, north of uh, where the pumping station is. Um, they did that, but there was no monitoring of how much sand was pumped. Um, and as a result, too much sand was pumped too quickly. Um, and it uh, destroyed a lot of the natural amenity. It changed Green Mount, one of the most beautiful points and point breaks in the world, filled with sand. Um, it also destroyed Kira. Um, that and the 30 metres of the groin being removed uh, changed the dynamics of the wave. Um, it changed how much sand sits uh, over the reef, um, where it sits over the reef. It also covered the reef, which is not a great thing for divers and people who wanted to access that natural beauty of the reef there. So the sand pumping has had its good and bad points. You know, the good point is that it made the super bank. Um, a lot of people you know, don't necessarily agree with that. It's a great wave, but because we've had one really, really good wave, we've lost a bunch of others. So, yeah, you know, give or take, it's had its good back points. To fix the problem, three things basically need to happen. Um, first of all, they can keep dredging the bar and pumping sand, but uh, the pipe and the outlet needs to be north of Kira. And if it's north of Kira, then sand will replenish beaches north of Kira. Kira doesn't need it anymore, which will give Kira a chance to lose some of that sand and get back its, uh, its natural um, dimensions. Um, sorry, dynamics. If they put the extra 30 metres of the groin back on the big groin in Kira, that'll also help uh, the sand movement and will reduce some of the sand that's covering the reef and covering the, um, the natural area there. And um, that should, in time, hopefully bring back the wave. 